Oh hi, I'm the Heretic. So instead of my usual stuff, I'll address the smear campaign by certain crimson shaded individuals against esoteric entity. Specifically, a bunch of screenshots reported to share his various indiscretions. This one right here makes it sound like he's threatening and cap check, even going so far as to make it sound like he's a pedophile for having nudes of a minor. First off, and Capchick is 19, so he can't be a pedophile. Second, he's not threatening her, and that whole comment is taken horribly out of context. What Esso was doing was explaining to Ann Capchick what a user named Voltaire was doing on his Discord server and using that phrase as an analogy. Did you hear me, YouTube commies? Esso didn't threaten to leak Ann Capchick's nudes, and I would know. I was there when he said it. There was also an incident where Esso threatens to dox someone, except they were trying to dox him on his own Discord server, and one of the wannabe doxers in question actually linked to his Steam account, which included a fair amount of personal information. Throwing stones from glass houses. And then there's this bit. Huh. That's a weird thing to- oh, no, 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 wait, that's photoshopped. As seen by how the text is clearly different when color corrected. And also, we know for a fact that Worthless is Tovarish Boots' account, and he told me in the comments of one of his videos that Esso deleted that post from the DMs. What a weasel! Problem is, you could edit any Discord conversation. Control Shift I. See? I can do it. Takes like one minute. Now, how do we know Esso didn't delete or edit it? Well, here's a video of the original conversation provided by Esso. plus a screenshot of me asking for it with a timestamp. Tobarish Brute tried to set up their own video as proof Esso deleted his comment, but eh, all he ended up doing was showing off his own nudes. Seriously, why did this guy feel the need to send his nudes to Esso? There's no way this was an entrapment, especially given that he solicited Esso for nudes earlier. This is ew. Wait a minute, and Cap Chick is worthless and Worthless is Tovarish Boot. Doesn't that mean that Ann Capchick leaked her own nudes on a YouTube video? A anyways, what does all this tell you? They have nothing, so they resort to slander. They're desperate. It's a pathetic bunch of soy boys whose only insight they bring to this world is the knowledge that they're going to lose. Bad. And you know they know it because they resort to ad hominems, manipulating you and your emotions by provoking knee-jerk reactions against people they dislike, framing them for pedophilia and doxing. And why do they dislike Esso, you might ask? Because he's a wrong thinker. So they'll lie, slander, and they don't think they'll get called out when they're caught faking screenshots in video footage? Just, just tell the truth. Admit you were lying, and admit you were flooding my Discord server with spies. Then maybe we can move on. Maybe. Oh, what am I saying? Anyone with an ounce of self-respect would know that sending unsolicited nudes to anyone is a bad idea. Listen, we know you're trying to silence Esoteric Entity. That should go without saying, but sometimes you need to spell it out. Ruin his life to silence his voice. This is bigger than him. Not only am I speaking out on it because I consider Esso a friend, but they'd come for me next, then the next one, and the next one, etc. It stops here. You people are liars. And if you go this far to mislead your audience about people you disagree with, why should we believe you about the virtue of socialism and communism? How do we know you aren't lying about that too? Now this won't dissuade any socialists from trying to smear or dox Esso or I, or anyone else, but I'm planting my flag and saying no, and hopefully informing my audience as to what's going on so they know the slander that they'll undoubtedly encounter to be a lie, and to be skeptical when they encounter it in the future. 
here's the thing. I really just want to talk about fun stuff. Like the 2008 financial crisis, objective ethics, or the future of Star Wars as a franchise. My only advice for SJWs is to look inward. Be sure that you are not accusing others of that which you are guilty. After you've done your introspection, I want you to be absolutely certain that this is the game you want to play, because otherwise, just like in life, you will lose. And unlike you, we'll actually have the facts. Questions? Comments? Critique? What other insanity can we expect from collectivists in the future? Will they ever learn, or will we be dealing with these morons forever? Also, I have a Ko-Fi page, or is it pronounced coffee? Anyways, if you can't justify recurring donations via Patreon, you can make a one-time donation on Ko-Fi for as little as $3. Anything you can do to help out the show is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Linked below are videos by Esoteric Entity about this smear campaign. Like, share, and subscribe to become a hair chick today.